Hey y'all, this is Fan Phoenix here, and welcome to my blind reaction to Angel's Friends. This is episode 10, and it is called Divided. Hmm. More about why angels and demons are divided? Maybe? I don't know. Or maybe Sulphus and Raph have a lover's spat. Or possibly Jennifer and... Uh, Andrew. So we'll see what happens. Humming time! Oh wait, I already did that one! I was going to do Tetris Server! Okay, that's done. Sorry, I think I started doing Fukurana, then I realized, oh crap, I was going to do Tetris Chair Forever, and I forgot about that, but it's okay, because we got through the lame theme song, and I don't care about a word you just said. The thing you can do is face the situation with your head held high. I am prepared to face whatever punishment you feel is necessary, Professor. That's very honorable. Now, your your totalitarian to society scares me because you are you are spying on them. That's creepy. I expect the devils to do that, but not the angels. Hmm, interesting. Their area is more high tech, whereas the angels' area is more classical. Telling of the producers' views. I don't know. This is better than I could have dreamed. They are about to enter the room of portraits. We'll be able to see everything, my lady. In a few moments, those two fools will expose to us all the secrets of the sacred sanctuary of the Earthly Ones. Are you ready, Professor? And I'm assuming this is important for something. Or at least for, for the White Lady to take the, over the world. Oh, doorway of secrets, sanctuary of Earthly Souls. Room of every portrait the caretaker asks to enter. Oh, doorway of secrets, sanctuary of earthly souls, room of every portrait the temptress asks to enter. What? What happened? No, we can't see in. Curses! As I suspected, the room of portraits is inaccessible from here. But... Leave me alone, Malachi. Yes, mistress. I told you to go. I wish to be alone. My queen is suffering, but I know how to bring her joy. At least she knows what she wants. Up to this moment, Raph and Sulphus have shared Andrew, the earthly one in their charge. But for the safety of all eternal beings, Sulphus and Raph must be divided. <coughs> Oh, I feel like they've torn my wings from me. It's not easy to face up to your punishments, especially when it means giving up someone you hold dear. Raph, you can't go on like this. I know you're down, but you haven't even said a word all morning. What's wrong with her? Wait, is she writing in Italian? That'd be awesome if she is! Professor punishment very well. I can understand that. They got separated, and of course I got stuck with Sulphus. Are you serious? Well, so she hasn't lost the power of speech after all. Yeah, I have to work with Sulphus and you're stuck with gas. I thought you knew. I only knew I wasn't working with Andrew anymore. And just when my earthly womb was starting to like me. But they must have assigned you to somebody else, right? But now I have to start all over again. Don't worry. We'll help you. You'll feel much better once you get to know your new earthly one. Earthly ones, plural. I'm working with twins. Mm. Huh? Their names are Julia and Helen, and they just moved into the 
city. Now that's a mansion. Amazing! You're I think what you were supposed to do. I can only imagine the shopping they do. Come on, that's that's that's, that's how you're supposed to do it. Okay, repeat it after me. Oh, come on, it's not completely horrible. You can always say that. There you go. You know that's how you're supposed to do it. Every time we come to a new city, you're right. New school, new friends, and they only want to hang out with us because we're rich. You're absolutely right. A bunch of phonies who care more about our money than they do about us as people. That's awful. Yeah, I don't know what I'd do without the two of you. I feel the same way. True friendship is worth all the money in the world. Poor that is very true. It sounds like they've lost faith in ever having real friends. Hey, wait. What if we just didn't go to school? What are you talking about? Think about it. Once we're out of the house, we just get the driver to drop us off somewhere else. He'll do whatever we tell him to do. Could we really get away with it? What if mom and dad find out because the driver told them? Uh? If, if, if. Why make things so complicated? Is that gas? In the flesh. Mm. And we see his gimmick of the day. Instead of fire, he has power over bodily flatulence. This includes burps and farts. Creative, people. Creative. Those two aren't setting foot in the school. Devil's word. They're gonna get there on time and make friends. That's right, Ralph. And you're about to still open after finishing that sentence. But you've never faced me in the challenge room. Ugh. Ugh. A snowboarding competition. Awesome. Eat snow, big guy. Oh, sorry to disappoint, but I'm on a diet. I'll tell you all about it at the finish line. I gotta get some ground on him. That rock looks like the perfect ramp. This is it. Fast climb. Ah. Ah. I guess it's not cheating. Yeah. Using your powers to your advantage is not cheating. Well, the devil's cheat all the time, so. Uh, how'd she get here so fast? And you haven't seen anything uh, yet. I have to stop her. I've gotta bring out the big guns. Quick, fly, go! Now that. Oh, oh, quick, fly. Okay, maybe he has powers of Earth like Clay did. Clay was freaking awesome. You don't know who I'm talking about. I'm sure of it. It's this sad. Queen very happy. Now what's happening? That huge tree is going to crush me unless now. Smart girl. Although you would never be able to pull that off in real life. I can't get rid of you. Hey, if Sophus couldn't do it, then you haven't got a hope in the world. That's pretty much true, because uh, Sulfur seemed a lot more competent than this dude. Oh, an avalanche! If I give up now, gas wins. But if I do nothing, I'll lose something worse than the challenge. Rock fly. Uh, you're turning into an angry dactyl. Apparently I have a very large 
huge lung capacity, so yeah, I can hold that for a long time. Oh, poor kitty, it's so big now. Convenient transition! Don't worry, we'll have fun. Do you like it? Ah, I'm the one who painted it. It's gorgeous, congratulations. Thanks, but I'm still learning. You guys aren't from around here. Not exactly. I can tell. Are you lost? We're new in town, so we don't really know the neighborhood very well. Well, I'm heading uptown, so if you want to come with me, you're more than welcome. That would be super cool, wouldn't it, Helen? And you'd be doing us such a huge favor. Then come with me. I'll show you girls all the places I've tagged. Ha! <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, are you sure it's not laughing gas, maybe? Now I guess it seemed like it. School, right? Yeah. Why is that weird? I don't know. You just don't seem like that type. Well, I definitely am. It's a lot cooler than you think. There are really lots of cool, earthy, um, cool kids inside. <laughs> Come on. Don't be afraid to go in. Hmm. I've got to go or I'll be late for class. Bye. Bye, Raph. It was really great meeting you. Well, come on. Maybe this school will be different than the other ones. We might even make some really good friends this time. You won! The twins made the right choice after all. Let's hear it for Raph! Devious and uh, time, evil enough. Be divided. Ah, that's where the title of the, sh the episode came from. Good on you, show. Okay, so now I figured out what the episode was about. Um, so that was kind of interesting. They had to, you know, deal with new people. Uh, other than that, and the fact that the, we finally learned the white lady's name as Raina, nothing much else happened that was interesting in this episode, except for me screwing up at the beginning on what song I wanted to hum slash sing. Um, maybe I can whistle too, because I'm pretty good at whistling. Uh, but yeah, this one was, yeah, we're all harmless. I'm gonna go with that. Harmless. But I, I'm enjoying the white lady. I think she's my favorite character because she actually means business and does shit. <laughs> so I'm glad we actually now know her name. Uh, so now we can call her Reyna. The Wrathful. Because she seems very um, easily irritated. But next time, we will be tackling episode 11 and seeing what the wonderful Mushrooms of Awesomeness give us for that. So until then, I shall be signing off. TTFN, ta-ta for now.